1972 new, the satellite Sebring Plus two-door hardtop. And the 1972 new satellite custom four-door sedan. Two 1972 beauties in the intermediate class, each designed to suit different personal tastes and purposes. And a big part of the beauty is in the driving. Here are cars engineered and manufactured to make driving fun again. Besides the speeding Sebring Plus, the three other two doors on 115-inch wheelbase are the Sebring, the Roadrunner, and the satellite two-door coupe. The Sebring Plus and Roadrunner are available with V8 power only. The Sebring and the satellite coupe are offered with either six-cylinder or V8 engines. Sedans feature the longer, roomier 117-inch wheelbase for six-passenger comfort. Two handsome models, Satellite Custom and Satellite, each available with six or V8 power. The sporty two-door on 115-inch wheelbase. The short rear deck balances the long hood without sacrificing luggage compartment space. The family size four-door with an entirely different roof panel on the roomy 117-inch wheelbase. Looking closer at the two doors, in front, the look says power, speed, sporty performance, and responsive handling. Long, sloping, wedge-shaped hood is unified by the husky loop bumper with dual headlights inset in the richly simple grille. Loop bumper is new for 72, completely surrounding newly styled taillights. The popular optional full vinyl roof adds distinction to two-door and four-door models. The smart canopy-style vinyl roof is also offered as an option on two-door models. Another sporty option for two doors with vinyl roof, the electrically operated sunroof for sun and fun with closed car security. Roadrunner for 1972 provides some new excitement for the get set. First, the new divided grill that says Roadrunner exclusively. Here's raw boned power ready for action. And Roadrunner buyers can customize their 72 models with this optional new hood and front fender stripe treatment. And these are the new strobe stripes for the C pillar. It all spells Roadrunner. Before looking at the inviting new interiors, let's see what the 1972 four doors have. All the 1972 satellite four-door models present a new face with a smart new grill. And new brighter low-beam headlamps on all models for better nighttime driving. Parking lights and turn signals are integrated in new recessed grille. Protecting the body of this satellite custom is an optional full-length side molding with vinyl insert, a great benefit in shopping center parking lots. Engines for 1972 include the 225 cubic inch 6, the 318, the 340, the new 400 2 barrel, the new 400 4 barrel, the 440 4 barrel, and the 440 6 barrel. Every satellite engine, except the 440 6 barrel, is designed to use regular fuel for operating economy. New for 1972, this 400 cubic inch engine. The 4 barrel version is standard on Roadrunner, optional on all other models. The two-barrel is optional on all models except Roadrunner. Three optional Roadrunner engines are the highly respected 344 barrel, the mighty 444 barrel, and the 446 barrel. And with either optional 440, Roadrunner becomes Roadrunner GTX. <laughs> and that's the big time. A really great standard feature on all four and six barrel satellite engines, Chrysler's electronic ignition system brings new efficiency, new maintenance economy with improved performance. There are no points, no condenser. Two of the items most often replaced during a tune-up have been eliminated. A magnetic sensor does the work of these parts and with more precision. Electronic ignition helps cut air pollution because the fuel is used a lot more efficiently. Another under the hood feature is the new Chrysler built alternator provides improved performance at higher operating speeds and longer service life. Instrumentation is complete with big indicators for driver readability. The wood graining of Sebring and Satellite Custom is replaced by Silver Argent on Satellite Sedan and Coupe. 
Rally Cluster is standard on Sebring Plus, Roadrunner, and Satellite Regent. Besides full set of four instruments, there's a 150 mile per hour speedometer, trip odometer, and optional tachometer or clock. In any driving situation, the driver and passengers are only as comfortable as the seats, right? And for 1972, Satellite offers eight different choices. There are supple vinyl bucket seats, rich vinyl bench seats with center armrest, and the lush cloth and vinyl bench, making every drive comfortable and enjoyable. There are four all vinyl bench seats, each with low profile head restraints, good to look at and good to ride on. Here's the new Brome package for Satellite Custom. Elegant cloth and vinyl split back bench with center armrest, also optional on Sebring Plus. This new Satellite Regent station wagon is one of five models for 1972, for all the special work that station wagons do. Satellite Regent in two and three seat models, Satellite Custom in two and three seat models, and Satellite as a two seater. Five ways to satisfy your wagon needs in the intermediate class. With great features like auto lock tailgate standard on three seaters, optional air deflector, three way tailgate you can open with glass up or down, and a whopping cargo floor that handles a four by eight foot panel flat with tailgate closed. Every satellite, wagons, two doors and four doors has unibody construction. Unibody is strong, tight, and quiet, and the rougher the terrain, the more you appreciate unibody welded construction. Something else. Leaf spring rear suspension plus torsion bar front suspension adds up to torsion air ride, makes for stability and control. Torsion air also takes most of the squat out of acceleration and most of the front end dive out of braking. Besides unibody construction and torsion air suspension, satellite bodies receive a seven-step dip and spray anti-rust treatment. Helps to prevent most sources of ordinary corrosion. Keeps satellite looking new. To personalize his satellite, the buyer can choose from two smart optional rally road wheels and two optional wheel covers. And there are five steering wheels to choose from, including seven adjustment tilt wheel with rim blow horn, optional with power steering. A security option on all satellites, inside hood release. When the car is locked, so is the hood. Can save the owner his battery or more. There's a new 31 inch antenna standard with any of the optional radios and flexible enough to resist vandals and those automatic car wash machines. Other extras you can add to suit your needs and personal preferences include power steering, power disc brakes, power windows, and air conditioning, AM or AM FM radios here that let you record in stereo from the stereo radio. Now, all these features pay off for the satellite driver, and that goes whether it's the sleek Sebring Plus or the handsome new 1972 six-passenger satellite custom four-door sedan. And wherever they stop, these cars have just about everything there is to have on a mid-size car. 1972 new satellites from Chrysler Plymouth with the big value features for intermediate buyers. That's Chrysler Plymouth coming through.